Y... Bueno. To the game show where history's on TV and Polly's got the clicker. In this exciting episode, we'll search for lovely Rondo Robot back in time. Your first clue is a cute pigeon, and it will lead you to what this mission is all about. Pigeons have invented a special way of drinking water. Most birds drink by scooping up water with their beaks. The pigeon uses its beak like a straw. It's the only bird in the world that actually sucks up water. Pigeons are in the same bird family as which other bird? Doves. Right. <laughs> Pigeon is also known as a rock dove. Pigeons and doves are two names for the same exact bird. Like some other birds, doves have a special symbolic meaning for people. The American bald eagle, for example, stands for freedom. Dove is the universal symbol of what? Peace. Good job! Oh, for thousands of years, the dove has stood for peace. It is a symbol of international cooperation among countries choosing peace over war. What sports event is played to promote peace? Um, the Olympics? I'll give you a hint, it's what our mission is about. Gold medal answer. The Olympics are played by people throughout the world to encourage peace. That's why doves are released at the opening ceremonies of the Olympics, because they symbolize peace. Ha! So Polly sent Ronda robot to the Olympics. You're headed for a medal, keep going! But we already knew that! The next clue is a torch. The torch will light the way to where the Olympics were first played. Making fire was a huge step for mankind. Here was an awesome form of energy that was finally in our power. No wonder that fire has taken on so much meaning and importance for people. Even the Olympic Games open with a spectacular celebration of fire. How does the Olympic torch get into the Olympic Stadium? A helicopter! That's no. right! Ho ho! Runners carry the torch around the globe and into the Olympic Stadium where the Olympic flame is lit. The runners represent the countries competing in the Olympics. Runners from countries all over the world train to compete in the Olympics. Approximately how many countries compete in the modern Olympics? Dang! 120? Great! Haha! <laughs> About 120 countries are Man, you're acing this quiz! Including the country hosting the games. You always tell me I'm too smart for my own good. You always live in which of those 120 countries? Greece. The United States of America! Greece. Yes! Haha! <laughs> the Olympic torch is always lit in Greece because the first Olympics were played in ancient Greece. The torch symbolizes the constant renewal of the Olympic spirit. You were played between the Athenians and the Trojans, and you know the Spartans. The Spartans three five. Two masks are your next clue. They will lead you to who invented the Olympics. These masks represent two types of plays invented for the theater. The laughing mask represents plays that are comedy. Comedies have funny jokes and happy endings. The mask with the sad face represents Tragedy. what kind of plays? Comedy. Tragedy. That's right. Ho -ho. Tragedies are plays with unhappy endings. If you were going to write a play, you'd have to decide whether you wanted to write a comedy, a tragedy, or a mixture of the two. If you wrote a tragedy for the theater, what would people call you? I'm a, a po- I'm a poet. poet. I don't know it. It's a poet. No! Poetry oh, is written it. by poets. Wouldn't you know it? And I guess that's dramatist. Yup! <laughs> dramatist ah, has been wrong. plays for a long time. The world's first dramatists wrote plays in honor of a god called ah. Dionysus. Who were the world's first dramatists? 
ancient Greeks? Great job! Ho -ho! The ancient Greeks invented drama as we know it today. For the Greeks, drama was a religious festival. The ancient Greeks had another religious festival. They called it the Olympics. <laughs> now we know who invented the Olympics. Rondo Robot, we are coming your way. I would figure if it was in Greece, it would be right. invented by the, the Italians. Is pottery, and it will tell you when the know Olympics what I mean? were first held. Yep. Heating clay dug from the ground transforms gooey wet mud into hard waterproof long-lasting pottery. People in the Middle East made the first pots and plates out of pottery 9,000 years ago. What's another name for pottery in general? Ceramics. That's right! Ho -ho. Many ancient pots and plates have been found because ceramics are hard and last a long time. Scholars dig up ancient ceramics to find clues about ancient life. What do you call the study of ancient ceramics and other objects? Archaeology! Current uh, affairs! Current affairs. That's <laughs> right. Archaeologists study ancient human societies by looking at the things they made. An archaeologist would most likely study a society from what year? 1988! 776 BC. <laughs> I like the first choice. <laughs> it's funny because this game is probably 10 years old. And Would you so just hit the answer already? Oh, fine then. That's right. Oh, and 776. I should have said 2010 and I know how to say, that's not it, that's in the future. No, it's not. We know about the first Not Olympics anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> dug up the ancient stadium in Olympia, Greece. Congratulations. Oh, and back your toga. It looks like we're at Don't care. Skip it. Time machine. <sighs> okay. Wow. I never thought I'd see the inside of this thing. Pretty cool, huh? The professor made it clear this time that Kyra, off buckle your seatbelt. Yeah. We're going for a bumpy ride. Right. Probably about to send the world Click. out of control. Did, did you fasten your seatbelt? No. But 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 if you don't fasten your seatbelt, you might end up in the year 1988. Yes, the time key did that. This lever looks important. Click on this. I'll just to you. Okay. Start things up. We've got front row seats for the very first Olympic Games. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. It's the world's Please. first Olympic winner. But boo, it's Rhonda, the beauty queen robot. Look, the next event is the talent competition. Yay! Miss Congeniality. That poor athlete isn't getting a laurel wreath. It's a diamond tiara and a bouquet of flowers. Hit the recall button before the evening wear competition begins. Yeah, Burnley! Save the Olympics from becoming a beauty pageant. Imagine running a marathon in high heels. Now hold on while I steer this contraption back. Is there anything, this, anything you want to say before we at, we end this mission, which is going to be really soon? Need it back. Always a good sign. Press the back button on the utility belt to leave the time machine. Sorry, my dad was talking to me. What? I was saying, is there anything you want to say this before we end this part pretty soon? All this time traveling robots. Um, I call it the robot roost. Believe you me, these guys I'm are awesome. around the block a few times. Yes, that's a good idea. Problem so, the next time you're, we're, I'm going to see you, it's probably going to be in a two or three or four more missions. Right now, though, it's one down and two right. more to go. Okay, but it's not over somewhere. yet. we got to put this robot back in its hidey hole. For safekeeping. A long rest is sorely needed. Yay! All right, we still got places to go and robots to rescue. Click on the inventory to start a mission. 
Or we can just leave. We really and, should start a mission. And then go down here. We can't do it. And then go down here. Is and this the part where I say bye, people? Yes, this is exactly the part where we say bye, people. So, bye. I'm Kyra, and you are... Say you're Garmo. I'm Garmo. And we would just like to say you goodbye. Exit. <laughs>